You already know who it is. Shin Shaman spitting facts like he already did. Don't ever try to compete with me, a deity, intellectually gifted, a person you will never be. And with that being said, I'm tired of you fake gaming frauds. You fake gaming losers and frauds coming onto this channel. And being so fucking redundant. At this point, we are, we are just at the pinnacle of redundant. You know, I speak facts. I spit the facts. You pussies mass dislike and get crying in the comment section. Rinse and repeat. You know, <laughs> it's just like with Jesus. They crucified Jesus. What did they do to Jesus? They crucified him because they, because they spit facts. They nailed him to a cross and killed him because he was speaking the truth. It's the exact same thing with me. History repeats itself. I speak facts. I say what you pussies don't want to hear. So you get upset, you lash out and mass dislike and cry in the comment section, and I'm just going to delete your comment, you fucking loser. Don't you, don't you niggas understand that? It, it, it's really just at a point of repetition that I just don't know what to say anymore. You pussies crying bitch, I continue to spit facts. But it's that attitude, that very attitude, why I went to a new platform, why I ditched this channel, no longer making content, like <laughs> maybe a few, uh, like a couple more videos after this and I'm done. I just want to expose some of these garbage ass games a few more times, despite this channel being blacklisted, being shadow banned. I don't give a fuck anymore. Fuck you niggas. Fuck you bitch ass niggas. Don't come saying you're amazing content. I love your content. Return to the king. No, fuck you. If that was true, you would have donated all those times I was at, all those times I was demanding for those donations. But that very attitude, that very attitude is why I quit. Why I'm never coming back. You frauds had your chance. You had your, your chance, your, your golden chance. I gave you motherfuckers ample time to prove that you meant something. And what did you do? You rewarded my kindness, my patience. And I'm talking high tense patience, high, high patience. <laughs> because I should have deleted this channel, you know, moved a long time ago. I'm so glad I'm taking my, I'm, I'm, I'm so glad I'm taking my talents elsewhere. But you pussies will never find me. You will never know about the amazing content I'm putting out. Ever. You don't deserve it. Like I've said countless times, countless, countless times, I am a golden ticket that you people simply don't deserve. But regardless, let's get to this garbage ass game that you idiots are hyping up. When in reality, you know for a fact this game isn't good. <laughs> so the original Nier, right? Nier Replicant, or the original Nier game that came out on the PS3 and 360, that game was complete garbage. Got like a 62 on Metacritic or I think even less or whatever. But the score went up because of the fanboys hyping it up because of Nier Automata. And so with the, with the success of the trash Nier Automata game, that of course warrants a remake for this trash game. And again, you should already know um how I feel about Nier Automata. I spent nothing but facts in my Nier Automata video. It's a garbage ass game. Terrible gameplay, horrible story, button mashy gameplay, mediocre graphics. Um, the only reason why people liked the game was because people like to jack off the two, be a whole bunch of virgin and nerds. You can find these niggas anywhere on the internet, on Twitter, Instagram, just anywhere. People just jacking off the near. Two B's so horror appearance is the only driving force for that game sale. That, that game sold like three million, whatever copies or more, and it's only because of two B. If it was another generic hack and slash, which it is, but like if it was just a DMC reskin, which it is. Without Nier as a character, the game wouldn't slow. Look at that fucking No Man, that uh, No More Heroes game, a DMC clone. No female character protagonist doesn't sell at all. <laughs> Trash. But yeah, Nier Tom is complete garbage, and Nier Replicant is somehow even worse, which is baffling because again, Nier Tom is trash. You know, Nier Replicant is about some guy named Nier, <laughs> what do you know, trying to find some cure for his daughter or whatever, his sister, whatever the fuck. Nobody actually cares about the story in this game. Nobody cares. There was this, there was this one YouTuber who became a VTuber who used to make a whole bunch of in-depth analysis videos on the Nier franchise, but she deleted all of those videos because she even she knew they were trash. Even she knew the franchise was trash. I forgot her name. Um, If you know who I'm talking about, I mean, if I'm talking about Nier analysis videos, you probably know who I'm talking about. Who became a VTuber or whatever. But yeah, even she deleted all of those videos because she knew for a fact this game franchise was trash. It wasn't worth going in depth about because there's no depth to be found. It's just rate it's just random fucking shit, hoo-ha, random uh fake ass analysis on something that was never that deep to begin with. Nier has always been trash, always. And of course, this game has a you know a poster female character just like Nier Tomada for all the horny versions on Twitter, all the fags and sales to get to get hyped about to jerk off to because again you need that. Was this character even in the original game? 
Nobody knows this because nobody played it. This game is only selling just for the fact that it's a sequel to a popular game or a prequel, whatever the fuck it's called. It's still trash. Again, this game has all the same problems and even more than the other game. Terrible gameplay, button mashing gameplay, easy ass difficulty, easy gameplay, terrible story, terrible characters, horrible animation, horrible graphics, last gen graphics at best. This game is just horrible. I mean, again, this game has all the problems as Nier Tomla and Tenfold and then some. And that's just crazy because Nier Tomla was a garbage overrated game made by that hack studio Platinum Games. Hideki Kamiya, he needs to go back to making Beautiful Joe, the DMC, the, the old DMC. DMC5 was trash, but again, it, this is what happens when you just con when you have a viewer base, of, when you have a consumer base of drone consumerism cucks. I mean, Hideki Kamiya and his, and his uh, team used to make quality games like, again, Beautiful Joe. Hell, even the first Bayonetta. The OG DMC games, those were quality games, not these shitty wannabe deep and complex with poorly implemented gameplay and story games like Nier. There's nothing intriguing about Nier Replicant version 1.22474487139. Like that's corny. Why would you even put that on the title? Trying to sound deep and complex. No, I hate feminist games with a passion. These are nothing but shitty wannabe feminist games that appeal to losers and cucks. If you're getting attracted to these fictional female characters, you're a loser. Only cucks get attracted to fictional female characters. You're a cuck and a loser. Damn, I'm tired of you fries ruining gaming. It's people like you that's just ruin gaming to a point of no return. You hyping up trash. You don't have a quality standard like me. Again, after completing this game 100%, I can safely say without a doubt, this game is complete garbage and it will never compare to the quality, the quality, the integrity, the innovation that went into gaming in the 90s and early 2000s. That's a bygone era of, of creativity that we'll never have back and still we'll have these shitty rehash remakes. I mean, come on, this game is the exact same thing as the, as the old one, which got like, a, again, a 57 on Metacritic. And now you're trying to tell me this shit is worth an 86 on Metacritic? Like, get the fuck out of here. You know for a fact, these people are only giving this game a high score because they're getting paid in two. They don't want to see the, the uh, these homely, salty fanboys, thirsty fanboys trying to, um, you know, fuck up their websites and shit, hack their websites, their IP addresses and shit. So they're giving this game a uh, 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 100 on Metacritic and shit. Fuck out of here. If you want to play a good RPG, JRPG by Square Enix that just came out, buy Saga Frontier. That's an actual good JRPG, a, a good remake of a good game. Not this garbage, this rehash bullshit that is more or less the exact same thing from Nier Automata and somehow worse because it's a remake of a worse game, Nier, which came out in 2010. I mean, it's just pathetic. <laughs> it's the exact same game. So how the fuck does a 56 Metacritic on the original equate to an 86 Metacritic on the, on the remake when it's the exact same fucking game? I've played them both. They're the exact, they suffer from the exact same problems. Terrible camera angles, sluggish combat. This game is terrible. Terrible. But you frauds are just fucking pathetic. I'll never um understand you losers. The way how you frauds are just hyping up trash and not supporting quality like quality like Saga Frontier just goes to show the disconnect in modern gamers. They just favor shit that's hyped up corny games like this over actual quality games. They came out in the exact same time span. I mean, the entire Nier franchise is comprised of garbage games. The entire uh, system, the entire franchise is, is just compelled, uh, you know, comprised, I should say, of nothing but garbage overrated games with bad gameplay, bad, corny, cheesy dialogue. That just amassed a, a fan base, that, again, because of Nier, because of the, the 2B bitch. Horrible fucking character. Like, I, like, you hear people crying over this game and shit. This game put me in the feels, the, 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 the story, it just made me so emotional. <laughs> like, you gotta be a loser. Like, do, do people actually cry for games and shit when they say shit like that, talking about the story and shit? <laughs> you gotta be a complete fucking loser, especially over a story as bare bones, as generic, as pretentious, as wanna be deep and complex as this. <laughs> but yeah, again, Near Replicant, the entire Near franchise is complete trash. And it will always be trash. Um, this remake that does nothing new is just as bad as the old game, if not worse. And also worse than Nier Automata, which again, is crazy because Nier Automata is also a trash game. 
But yeah, near replicant is just another byproduct of overhyped garbage by a fan base or rabbit fan base who will just put tens on anything despite the quality actually dictating otherwise. This game is trash.